What's up, nerds, and have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the article that I read to bring you this video, and you can read it for yourself, or you can just watch this video where I'm going to read it to you. Also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm, and small channels like mine, we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. Okay, so now that we got that business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? This happened a little bit earlier in the week. I think it happened like Wednesday or something like that. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so uh, the Kang Dynasty movie has gotten a writer, and it is not helpful, you guys, because it's Michael Waldron. So this is Michael Waldron right here. This article comes from Deadline, my favorite. And I just, I, I, Kevin Feige is not learning from his mistakes. So it says Loki creator Michael Waldron to write Marvel Studios Avengers The Kang Dynasty. I also have some thoughts on The Kang Dynasty and everything, but let's read this article real quick and then I'll, I'll tell you about it. Let's keep Michael Waldron there so we know who, who the enemy is. Uh, so it says Michael Waldron has been tapped to write Marvel Studios Avengers The, the Kang Dynasty. Waldron already been set to write Avengers Secret Wars, the installment that would follow Avengers The Kang Dynasty and will now write both Avengers sequels, which is just a bad choice. And I'll tell you why in just one second. Waldron has become one of Marvel's most trusted creative minds, having previously created and served as showrunner of season one of Loki, which I, I have to tell you something about that real quick. Um, You might have read it before, but uh, yeah. Um, I need to pull this up because it's too way too down low. Anyways, um, Waldron uh, created uh, Loki as well as writing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and the move make uh, the move makes sense uh, to the studio to have him pen both films. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige will produce. Deadline recently broke that Destin Daniel Cretton had uh, would not be directing the film in order to focus on his other Marvel projects like the TV series Wonder Man, which who's looking for that? I don't know. Not me. Anyways, Avengers King Dynasty is far on the theatrical release schedule dated to kick off the summer of May 1st, 2026, giving Waldron more than enough time to pen a script as the director search begins. The movie will precede Avengers Secret Wars on May 7th. 2027 which will wrap up the marvel cinematic universe phase uh, six uh features michael waldron has been quite uh on a quite a run after closing a multi-year mega deal with the combined overall with marvel 20th century blah, 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 who cares um, let's see. Okay. Uh, none of this is really important to the rest of the, the thought process that I have personally have. So here's my thoughts on this. This is a terrible decision. Michael Waldron is a horrible writer. Okay. First off, they said he wrote uh, that he uh, did Loki season one. But recently, the, the people that have done season two, they said that they that Michael Waldron left season one, uh, you know, mid production or whatever, or, or whatnot, because he went to go work on multiverse of madness. Um, and then they said they had to rewrite a bunch of different stuff. And they had to fix a couple of things. So I'm all like, how bad I and I didn't like season one of Loki, I thought it was terrible. So how bad did it have to be that they had to come in and fix his shit. So then Dr. Strange 2, I'm sorry, Dr. Strange 2 was terrible it was not a good movie i'm sorry i have another video that i want to make about it uh and the, all the cameos that were supposed to happen but i'm sorry dr strange 2 was pure dog shit and i i don't feel like the, that michael waldron gets what what marvel is or what comic book uh you know superhero movies are i i don't think he understands i think he just writes a movie and then just adds some superpowers in there and the movie is fucking terrible so I think Michael, Michael Waldron, and, and he comes from Rick and Morty, like he's written a couple episodes of Rick and Morty from what I could tell from his IMDb. And I just want to say, like, this was a terrible decision. And, and Kevin Feige, I'm sorry, he just keeps doubling down on this guy. And I'm like, what does he have on you, Kevin, that you need to, to keep hiring him? Because he's obviously, you know, he's got very minimal talent at best. And I just, this is a terrible decision. And Marvel is just, they are just keep, they just, you know, they just keep digging that hole deeper. And Kevin, I mean, it's like Kevin Feige doesn't want to stay in at Marvel. Like he just, he's sabotaging his career at Marvel. So like I said before, this was a terrible decision. 
He's he's a not a good writer. I mean, and and I can change my mind. Maybe he's got one good you know movie in him, and maybe Kang Dynasty will be it. And that's another thing. I think they should just stop with Kang. Kang is such a crappy character, in my opinion. I didn't. I don't like him from the comic books. Kang has always been this guy that's always ski, and they do a good job in doing that. I think in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they do a good job of with his scheming and everything. But he's never like a full like let's fight kind of let's fight bro kind of guy. He's always scheming, and that's how he does stuff. But I've never liked Kang in the comic books, so I don't think that he was a great bad guy in the first place to bring forward. Um, but uh, I, I let's see how this turns out. But I I have no hope. What's especially if he's writing Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, I think it's just going to be a big big freaking disaster and you know what i don't feel bad for marvel or disney if they let him do it so that's my thoughts on that tell me what do you guys think about all of this how do you guys feel about michael waldron getting the gig of writer for the kang dynasty movie i personally think it's gonna be a train wreck I, like i said before marvel and feige have not learned their lesson in terms of who to hire who to not hire stop hiring rick and morty writers they are not good at writing these long these long formats like like i'm sorry they may write a good uh rick and morty episode but not uh writing full-on movies because um multiverse of madness was just there's no way that they did rewrites on that movie but there's no way that this could have been good uh with, without the rewrites there's just no i don't see how it could have been good without the rewrites Tell me what you guys think about this. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.